Hello everyone, my name is Bromo, and welcome to something just a little bit different. For those of you who watch me on Twitch, you know that we have several different Pokemon series ongoing and several more planned, uh, whether it's vanilla games or cool ROM hacks or challenge runs and, and everything across the sun. And I decided that that just wasn't enough. So I decided to create my own unique Pokemon challenge that I don't think anyone has done before. And I wanted to share that with you here today. As far as I'm aware, this challenge is doable with at least a majority of the mainline titles for uh, the Pokemon series. Maybe not so much the recent ones, but I'm going to be showcasing for you uh, Pokemon Heart Gold. It's what I did testing in. It's one of my favorite games, and I think this is going to be a lot of fun. A link to the Universal Pokemon Randomizer that I used to help set up this challenge is in the description below if you want to check that out. This is just a working title, but I have decided to call this challenge the Destiny Mon Challenge for one very particular reason. That reason is because for the entire duration of the challenge, you are only allowed to use six Pokemon, and those Pokemon are predetermined before the run begins. That's right, I am using a random number generator to determine for me the six Pokemon that I am allowed to use for the entire game. I'm also using the randomizer to determine their nature instead of just being allowed to select whatever the most favorable one is. Additionally, specifically all trainer Pokemon will be randomized. However, the wild Pokemon will remain the same species. However, I will also be using the random number generator to determine my rival's ace because that ace will be with him for the entire duration of the playthrough. Now allow me to quickly rattle off some of the other important rules of this challenge that make it what it is. This one's perhaps the most obvious, but no catching wild Pokemon unless it is for the purposes of using them as an HM buddy. I've made all HMs full compatibility in case you don't feel the need to have an HM buddy. However, I will not be teaching any HMs to any Pokemon that I end up getting that doesn't seem to make sense with them so as to not abuse it. So I, for instance, if I get an Alakazam, which is a very intense special attacker, I'm not going to teach it Surf to gain an unfair advantage. I will try to teach it to a water type Pokemon if I am lucky enough to obtain one. All Pokemon in the entire game, except for your six team members, are increased in level by 50%. Items in the overworld are random, but distributed evenly, uh, which means I'm not going to find 1,000 leftovers, for example. This also includes items that are held by wild Pokemon. While I can't technically give any of the trainers in this game smart AI that don't already have it, I've decided to turn on better move sets so that all of the trainer Pokemon we fight have their most optimal move set at the level at which they are, instead of just their standard level up move set. I've also allowed every single enemy trainer Pokemon to have a held item, including ones that make the most sense. Special item shops have been completely randomized. However, I have set the randomizer to exclude items that are too overpowered. Additionally, regular Pokemarts throughout the game will still have their standard fare instead of a randomized set. Lastly, I have set the standard EXP curve for all of my Pokemon to medium fast, except for legendaries with a base stat total of 600 or more. I will also be modifying rare candies into my game to get rid of grinding, because grinding is a nightmare. Additionally, with all enemy Pokemon 50% higher in level, I'm basically going to be under leveled this entire run, but I'm not just going to use candies to get up to a level cap. I also want to push the boundaries of how low a level I can win at, which means I will only use the rare candies I've modded into the game if absolutely necessary, or if I need to save hours upon hours of grinding. This is not a permadeath run like a Nuzlocke. A wipe does not end your game. You simply get to pick yourself up and try again. However, if you are a complete and total masochist, you are welcome to play this as a Nuzlocke. I just do not recommend it. With that, I am going to get started with this first ever Destiny Lock. This is exclusive for YouTube. I've decided not to stream this. I stream so many different Pokemon series over on twitch.tv forward slash Go. Go check me out over there. 
give us a follow we stream four times a week but i wanted this to be exclusive for youtube special only for the youtube audience's eyes and i wanted to get your opinions on this so if you are interested in playing this for yourself please let me know in the comments below i will tell you exactly how to set up your game all right let's get this started i believe gen 4 has 493 pokemon if i'm not mistaken without further ado let's begin the very first ever destiny lock by determining my starter and my rival's ace here goes absolutely nothing 182 number 182 in the pokedex is blossom which has me a little nervous because it's a stone evolution which means it's not going to learn a lot of moves However, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Blossom starts with Leaf Blade in Gen 4 as a just a starting move, so I think we'll be okay. Now we have to determine our rival starter. 488. Unfortunately for us, we are starting this game by giving our rival a legendary in Cresselia that they will have for the entirety of the game. There's only one thing left to do before we get this run officially underway, and that is to determine the other five team members that will be accompanying me throughout this entire journey. Pokemon number 296 is Makuhita, so we get ourselves a fighting type. Pokemon number 196, which I believe is Espeon. Pokemon number 139 gives us Omastar, so the type diversity early on is looking pretty good. Team member number 5 is Pokemon number 84. I believe that is Doduo, which is a Pokemon that I actually really adore, and it gives us a flying type even if that Pokemon shouldn't know how to fly. And the final Pokemon that will be accompanying us on our playthrough is... Number 1... Okay. So I guess this is a good opportunity. I'm surprised that that happened. It's very unlikely that that was going to happen. I guess I should also mention that there is a duplicates clause. That means if I randomly roll the same species twice in my party of six, I can re-roll it to have more team diversity. Actually insane that we landed on Espeon twice. So the actual sixth member of our team is Pokemon number 109. This is a Gen 1 heavy team. Pokemon 109 is coughing, a poison type. So we didn't end up with any duplicate types, which is interesting. But will it be enough to get me through this entire challenge? Real quickly, I did forget to mention one rule. So I mentioned that all trainer Pokemon were randomized. What I neglected to mention is one of the key aspects of this challenge is that every gym and the Elite Four are type themed still random but they will all be type themed all right let's load up the game we'll get our team ready to go and i'll see you on the other side ignore the tracker saying pick the middle ball we're gonna pick whichever ball has the blossom in it also ignore the iron mon community discord stuff although you're welcome to join the iron mon community we're a very welcoming community and iron mon is a great challenge um I'm using a patched version of this game, if you couldn't tell. It just cuts out some of the fluff that's in there in terms of dialogue. Ready to go. Yes, my name is Bromo. Don't look at me weird. It's on my birth certificate. One thing that I'm noticing about the uh, the uh, the new patch is that the running shoes are a hell of a lot faster. All of the characters move faster, which is brilliant. All right, let's get our starter. Blossom, you and I... Have a long journey ahead of us, my friend. And we're back. There we have it. Our full team is in. I accidentally made some of them level four instead of level five. That only take a couple minutes to fix. Um, but we have our full team. And this is the entire team that we are going to use for the destiny log. Of course, evolving them is allowed if you get a first stage Pokemon. Uh, so uh, Manny, Danielle, and Kevin will all see evolutions in this playthrough. But this is the only six Pokemon we're allowed to use in battle. And the only reason I would even catch something else, which is illegal otherwise, is if I really don't want to teach a particular HM to any of these Pokemon. With that, we are ready to go on our journey. I'm just going to go say bye to mom. 
Thank you for talking to me before you head on your journey. Take care. You're welcome. I'm a good son. All right. So I'm going to try to level up these Pokemon as evenly as possible. So why don't I focus on the fours first? Oh, it is also worth noting that I will be playing this on set mode. So why don't I make that fix real quickly? Uh, set mode, it basically, it won't ask you to, if you want to switch and give you a heads up of what your opponent is about to send in, which I didn't realize until I, I didn't realize when I was playing as a kid, but that is a wildly unfair advantage for the player to have. So um, I will not be using switch mode probably ever again. I'm not going to judge anyone for not using it. I will also not be allowed to use items during battle. I can only use them outside of battle. So no healing with potions in the middle of a fight. What's the first item? A Thunderstone. Hey, that's completely useless, but I can sell it for cash. I actually just realized that it's not my own link for my Twitch that's at the bottom of the uh, overlay. It's actually my good friend Cardwiz's link. You should not only follow us on Twitch for all sorts of uh, varied Pokemon content, go follow my buddy Cardwiz. He's a good friend of mine. He's one of my mods and he has excellent taste in JRPGs. I am going to keep track of team wipes, however, because chances are it's going to happen a lot, especially when we get to the Elite Four. All right. Enigma Berry. Now, I, I have the randomizer set to exclude things that are just really bad, like mail. Uh, however, there are still a lot of berries in this game. If held by a Pokemon, it restores its HP if it is hit by a foe's super effective attack. Okay, that's actually quite useful to have probably save that for a gym once we know what uh, the first type theme is that we're dealing with. While we're at it, Razor Fang. Is, isn't that for um, an evolution? An item to be held by a Pokemon, it may cause the foe to flinch when the holder inflicts damage. There is literally no reason not to equip this immediately. It doesn't really matter who I give it to first, Probably not Star-Lord with his rock typing being good against the early normal moves in this. So let's give it to Kevin. Because if there's one thing that I think they could do to change coughing to make it better, it's give it razor sharp teeth. All right, so we are making our way back from Mr. Pokemon's house. We have the mystery egg, but the lab's been broken into and Professor Elm has been assaulted. So now we have to make our way back and investigate just what the heck is going on around here. Okay, just did a very small amount of grinding to get all of my team members up to at least level six. I'm about to get absolutely slaughtered by this Cresselia, but I have one single strategy. It's reset time. Oh, <laughs> he's gonna kick my ass so hard that he's gonna force me to reset my game. Lady Malcolm with the Cresselia. My one chance here, and he probably has potions. I don't know what he has. My one chance here is to survive an attack and then poison it with poison gas, which is basically a coin flip. So come on, Kevin. We missed the poison gas. We gotta get through two coin flips with this confusion going on here. This is my only chance. Oh. Yep, all right. It's been nice. Kevin just died. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that message to be there. Um, so obviously, I don't have anything that can deal with this. I'm thinking now as a backup plan. Tail Whip with Splippy. It should resist confusion. Maybe confusion is all the Cresselia has? Okay, it's going to lower our speed. We're no longer going to be faster. And Swagger. We've lowered its speed twice now. If we can get one more... Or even if we can't, maybe it's worth just attacking now with my increased attack stat. All right, we got it to minus three. I'm going to see what damage we deal at this point. It's focusing on my speed still for some reason. That's not terrible. Maybe I should continue to focus on lowering it some more. Is it going to swagger me again? I wonder if it's going to swagger me again. You have double team as a starting move. I hate you. I hate you so much, but I only need two more tackles. 
So come on. I Am I actually going to win this fight? Oh, it comes down to a coin flip. Coin flip! Come on, Splippy! For the cause! Okay. Splippy just died. Who gets to be the hero of this story? Well, Manny dies to one confusion. Come on, Star-Lord! Take it out with your super effective bite! You mi Oh, you missed because of the double team! Oh, no! This double team is going to ruin everything, dude. I just need one attack to land. Let's go, Star-Lord! Slay God on your first day out of the house. Let's go, Star-Lord! They will remember your name! Good stuff. I did not expect to win that fight. I did not realize how valuable Espeon was in that, despite its lack of moves. Pathetic. <laughs> oh no, you saw my name. <laughs> What's hilarious is that all that stuff got cut out because I'm using a patched version of our Heart Gold. Um, so a lot of the, the extra dialogue is cut out so that you um, get through the game faster. But really, now there's no reason for me to know his name because he's just it because he just stopped and turned around and was like, oh no, you know my name now. <laughs> so... All right, well, I've got a name for you. This boy's name? <laughs> Officer, hi. Your name is Turnip. I see, so Turnip was his name. Yes, it was, most gullible police officer of all time. Alrighty. And there was an HP up beside the house. You love to see it. You love to see it. Now... We're good to just start fighting trainers. Obtain the Pokeballs. I'm not going to use those. I'm basically going to throw them away. Tell you what. This is not part of the rules. Yeah, but I've never found a shiny before. I've never found a natural shiny before that wasn't a predetermined one or an increased odds one. I've never found that one in 8,192 or whatever it is. So if I find a shiny in this playthrough, I will be allowed to catch it. I still will not be allowed to use it, but just for sentimental reasons, I will catch it. The first regular trainer battle of Destiny Mon is underway. Here's Youngster Joey. Classic. I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. I've already got a roster of six. What do you have? Elite Four Jill with the slow king. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I've made a horrible error. All right, he's starting hail. Remember, trainer Pokemon have updated and better move sets to make up for the fact that they don't have the smart AI. So the trainer fights should be, for all intents and purposes, much harder, regardless of what they're using. And right, we successfully got the poison off. I don't think coughing is the thing to keep out here. That thing's probably got a psychic attack. So I'm going to go into Splippy here to resist. Power gem. Good lord. Okay. All right. Not ideal, but you're you're poisoned. I'm just going to chip away at you. I did five. And then I'm getting damaged by hail. The first power gem did six, I think. So if I want to uh, survive this journey, I don't think a tackle's enough, right? I think I die to this, right? And then Kevin gets all the XP. Oh, you'd rather die? <laughs> the Slow King knows he's gonna die. So I'm like, well, I might as well already be literally six feet under when I die. <laughs> all right, all right. We did manage to get the kill with the tackle. Beautiful, tackle and poison. All right, good stuff. Hey, can I get your number? I'll ring you up to battle. No. Uh, okay. Actually, you know what? They can offer um, rematches. And I'm... 99% of my leveling is going to be up off of um, trainers, not wild Pokemon. So, could actually come in handy if I remember where any of the characters are in the first place. All right, kid. Bring it on. You're a Pokemon trainer, right? Then you have to battle. All right, what do you got, Elite Four Joe? They let a lot of children into the Elite Four these days, I will say. All right, level three Skitty, I can handle that. 
Oh God! Oh, you have coverage. We're we're fine if we don't miss. Or we're and we're never mind. You have Zen headbutt and substitute. God. This this small house cat is absolutely wrecking me. It's fine. We'll defeat it with something else. Maybe not damage roll time. Ooh. Oh, luckily the trainer is very, very dumb. I turned on. Oh, you probably have to save when you switch the options. Okay. Well, set mode is supposed to be on, so let's just not switch. Uh, I'm going to lay in a sand attack before I get knocked out for whatever comes in next. Because obviously Manny doesn't have the power to take this thing out. And I'll just make sure... To, uh, okay, so Heart Gold makes you save it. It's not enough to change the option. Fair enough. Uh, we've got Peck on Danielle. Is that going to be good enough to... It's going to be three shot. Ooh, you're trying to make up for your lowered accuracy, are you? It's going to lower our attack, so this is not going to kill without a crit. Come on! One more! What do you have? Starf Berry to increase special attack? Special defense. The messages go by super fast. Uh, stop charming my small bird! Stop trying to impress my small bird! Damn it! <laughs> stop doing a dance for the paralyzed victim! Just let me peck you! Thank you! Good lordy Lou! Had to... Had to my bird had to go through hoops on that one. Good heckin' goodness. All right, we got two levels off of it, though. That's two members of the Elite Four down. Oh, it's that Starfberry that the, uh, that the Elite Four Joe just used. Okay, so that raises my special defense when my health gets real low. Is that what it is? It, oh, it sharply raises possibly a random stat in a pinch. So... The usefulness is debatable. What horrors does the bug catcher have in store for me? Instead of a bug Pokemon, I found a trainer. You didn't find anything. If anything, I found you, Ranger Thomas. All right, this seems manageable. I'm gonna start you off by softening you up with a tail whip. Yeah, okay, foresight, perfect. Good move, really impressive, all right. Well, you got your defense back. All right, so this is just going to be a, a click tackle until I kill you situation. Never mind. I'm going to need you to defense curl a lot or just get crit. Oh, good. Actually, that's maybe better for me because I, I have good special defense. Come on. Don't attack me. What got raised? Your defense got- Your defense didn't need raising! It's now- Now it's plus three. Oh! We got the crit though! Way to go, Splippy! Way to take one for the team, Splippy! So- Splippy is so good. I forgot to turn on set mode. All right. That's fine. We can handle this jump luff. No problem. It's gonna spam rest. Okay. Um, do I have any better moves suited for this? If you're gonna be a rest spammer, then I'm gonna just peck you out of the sky. Jump luff. Oh! The crits are coming and they ain't stopping. You love to see it. Splippy learns sand attack. Danielle gets the glory. You love to see it. What do we got? A dusk stone. Well, I'm not exactly going to be stone evolving anything. So, uh, it's going to be a no for me, dog. But hey, we got two stones. Hey, you know what? At least they're pretty. We'll keep them. Like, in our, in our, in our bag, they're they're pretty. Just not going to use them. How about you? And something for evolving magmar. So, yeah. <laughs> These items are not panning out so far. All right, I know this dude has four, so this could be the biggest challenge so far. Let's see what you got, Ranger Tia. With the ride on, what's that? We got a bunch of normal moves, but not all of us. Come on, Brienne. I got a leaf blade with your name on it. Sunny day, okay, why would you want to set that up? Are you going for fire moves or solar beam or some such? Oh, you had a berry to reduce. Grass damage, 
so sad it didn't really work out for you, though. But at least Manny learned a fighting move. That is bad for my adversaries. All right, now the sun is shining. I keep forgetting about the options, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. I'm actually going to stay in here and get a stun spore off before I go over to Doduo. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, that was that was quite intense for being five damage. Okay. So here yeah, we're gonna switch over to Danielle. Danielle should be able to take care of this. So we got a free switch because of the hyper beam. So a, a little peck to the ankle and down goes Blaziken. Good stuff. Easy peasy. Danielle's crushing it. Team MVP so far. That's what I say. Altaria. Don't exactly have anything for you. All right, I'll just start laying in attacks. Okay, you had a berry to reduce my power. So I should be doing more than what I just displayed. All right, we're fine. You keep setting up Sunny Day. I'm not sure if you know what that move does or if you just prefer the sunlight over, like, like you're not a nighttime person. I understand. I understand. See you later. See you later. See you. Bye. Just prefers it when the sun's out. Doesn't like a cloud in the sky. And Chimchar, you're pure fire. So I'm just going to lay in with quick attacks. Oh, yeah. Level three. So never stood a chance. Oh, yeah. That guy has like three level twos originally and then a level three. So, uh, yeah, you know, what? yeah, I'll get your phone number. Why not? Hey, that's a pretty good item. It's one use, I think. But finding a focus sash right now is really quite nice. That's a guaranteed not getting one shot by something. Rocks are cringe. Take this HM. <laughs> it's so cringe. Rocks are cringe, but rock smash is based. Hope you find some shards. Thanks. Well, it's not a shard, but it is some sort of plate, and it might just help me. It boosts Psychic-type moves. Not useful yet, but when Espeon eventually learns Confusion, that could come in handy. There's another hidden item over here. A Dragon Scale. Hello. What's that doing over here? So that's uh, the Evo item for um, Kingdra. We are just getting... Evo items up the wazoo. I can't even handle all the Evo items that I'm getting right now. What in the, what in tarnation? Into Sprout Tower we go. Sprout Tower is mandatory in Heart Gold Soul Silver. I just do it anyways, you know, because I, there's no reason to skip any of the content. All right. However hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. God, I hope so. Rich girl, Stacy. Oh, hello. You also bringing out the Bell Awesome? Well, I know you're going to have some uh, some spicy moves to start out. There's the Leaf Blade. Ooh, you're going to be a toughie, ain't ya? Oh, man. Okay. Yep. Okay. You brought a sword to a fist fight. That seems awfully, awfully rude. But at least I've got smog. Not very accurate, but... Pretty high poison chance on it. And with Stab, at least Smog is 60 power right now. Stab super effective. Again with the Sunny Day. At least with Blossom, it kind of makes sense. Like, eventually, if you teach it Solar Beam. But other than that, I actually have no idea why he's using that. Way to go, Kevin. Way to go, Kev. Good for you, Kev. What do we got? Loudred? I swear one of these times I'll remember to change it to set. Son of a gun. All right, everything's, we're fine. Everything's fine. He's buffing, but it's fine. Because that smog just, oh. Well, no wonder it poisoned your mouth was wide open. Oh, I got hurt with a berry. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, that did, that, that was an incredible move. That was a fantastic maneuver, the likes of which I've never seen. Um, and I just clicked, I thought tackle was in the first spot. It was poison gas. Okay, all right. Yeah, poison too. Poison harder. Okay, here here comes your your big D move, uproar. 
Sunlight faded. I'm definitely slower with the para. So, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. If I die to this, someone else will get the XP. This is this is not permadeath run. So, who wants the XP? Looks like Star Lord wants the XP. Alrighty, and now just a little nibble. Wh why would you do that? You're gonna die to the poison anyways, you fool. Sucks to suck. Way to go, Star Lord. Machop. That's gonna be no bueno for me. Would you have a fighting move already at level five? I feel like Machop would. I feel like it gets Karate Chop or Low Kick very, very early, if not starting with them. Or I could be sending Dojo right into a Focus Punch. Oh, we lived! Oh, come on, one shot. Let's go! Oh, Danielle is so freaking good! Way to go, Danielle! You'll love to see it. Danielle learned Rage? God damn, Danielle surviving the Focus Punch took that like like an absolute champion. And it will be a champion one day. Hey, that's more HP than I'll have for a very long time, but I'll take that milk. You bet I'll take that milk. We stand guard in this tower. Here we express our gratitude to maybe finishing reading the dialogue before we button spam it away. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to do that. All right, for psychic type, I mean, my attack stat is garbage. But for psychic type, I'm going to go Star Lord here with Bite. I'm actually faster than the Grump Pig. I didn't expect that. Boosted the accuracy of its next move. Okay. Fat load of good that did you. I didn't change the setting, did I? <laughs> nope. Oh, we're quad weak. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. We don't want this out. Come on, Kevin. Super effective smog. Go get him. Astonish. What's that going to do? What's that going to do? Nothing. Nothing. Astonish. It's a coward's move. Real men use smog. Kevin's a real man. But seriously, don't miss Kevin. Yeah, I heard second hand smoke is bad for you. But I didn't know it was lethal. Sucks. Way to go, Kevin. Way to win one for the team there. Star Lord learned Water Gun. Beautiful. We have a water move, everybody. And got the instant poison on Snubble. Let's go, Kevin. Let's go, Kev. You got this, buddy. One more smog. Make it a good one, okay? You know what? Maybe, maybe tackle kills here. Oh, thank goodness. Would hate for that XP to be wasted. Way to go, Kevin! Rich girl Robin didn't even know what hit her. What do we got? A Babiri Berry. I have no idea what that is. We're learning today. It's a learning experience. It weakens a foe's super effective steel type attack. Well, let me just take a quick gander at my team and, uh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Not one of them is weak to steel. The closest one was Star Lord, but his types cancel each other out. So that berry is 100% certified useless to me. I sway like leaves in the wind. Great. D do you need a cane? Okay, well, this is perfect so far. All right. You. Way outspeed me. Love that. I am just a small dumpling child, but my ham hocks were enough to take out your rat. When will I learn? When will I turn on set mode? Come on, four hit. We four hit every time. We four hit every... Shut up. Oh, that's not okay. That's distinctly not okay, that mega kick. Can't be pulling out 120 power right now. Endure. Okay. The ultimate time waster. You'll love to see it. That's fine. All I did was waste one extra PP of tackle. And then horsey. We can we can handle a horsey. Easy. Sorry, what? 
I guess if it can learn it by TM, it's going to have it right away. Thank you. Hey, at least you poisoned yourself. Except I think Synchronize gives you the regular poison. The Synchronize probably can't distinguish poison from toxic. So, see you later. There we go. A nice level up for Splippy. Rich girl Bob didn't know what hit her. Huh? Huh? Oh, I finally remembered to do it and hit confirm. Can we get some applause, please? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh you're too kind. It took me freaking half hour to properly set my game to set mode. So what's my reward for that? A fluffy tail. I think that lets me run away from stuff. Great. I guess that could be useful. There's ghastlies in here that can mean look me. All right, what do we got? We got a sea of old men to take down. This one is Marcellus. Oh, well, we brought out the correct thing for this assignment. All right, just wanted... Okay. So why don't we not do that? How about we get, that's fine. How about we get a crit or two on the arm thrust? There's one. There's two. Hey, or three. Way to go, Manny, with Manny triple crit, as they call you out on the streets. You love to see it. Way to go, Manny. All right, rich girl, I got my eye on you. The Elder's TM lights even pitch black darkness. Yeah, I'm sure it does. But will it be able to light your pitch black darkness when you die? Oh, now you done effed up. You done messed up. Okay. All right. It's not counter this time. It's not counter this time. We're fine. Nobody panic. There's no more counter here. I'm never going to get hit by counter ever again. Way to go, Brianne. So easy. I'm going to march right on to the next one. I don't give a crap who's calling me on my cell phone. Uh, it's me, rich girl Florentino. That's slightly more problematic. Okay, poison type, huh? I have literally nothing for you. I could bring in coughing to not get poisoned, but at this point, that's just kind of... That's just kind of silly. Let's bring in Danielle for pure stab damage and see what we can do. Ooh, ouchie mama. See, look at that. We're doing great damage. You miss poison gas? You just sealed your fate, buddy. You think I'm worried about a little, <coughs> little poison gas? Yeah, no, not at all. Oh no. I am worried about my sudden and alarming attraction to this puddle of goo. Oh, that was a, t you could say that was a toxic relationship. Okay, uh, well, who needs the levels the most? Cause obviously you're one shot away from getting knocked out. Manny's been kind of tough to level up out of the, f out of the six. So let's give him the free XP. Beautiful. Level 10 Manny wants to learn Vital Throw, much stronger than Arm Thrust. Vital Throw goes second, right? Yeah, always goes second, always never misses, rather. I can still see myself wanting Sand Attack and Focus Energy. I'm gonna get rid of Tackle here. I don't know if that's the right move. I don't know if that's the right move kind of early to be fighting something like you, but I have a solution. I have a solution. Nobody panic. We have Shedinja coverage. Imagine if this run just didn't give us even a speck of Shedinja coverage. How funny would that have been? All right, we got it. We got it, ladies and gentlemen. We're on to the Elder. Poor Danielle had to, had to sacrifice themselves, but you know what? Everyone else is lower level anyways. Let's just move right on to the Elder. 
eat a Snickers. <laughs> No, you. <laughs> Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> okay, whoever... Whoever designed the uh, the patch for this game... Holy crap, they have, they have... They have good comedic timing. Holy crap. Alright. Yeah, I got nothing really to say. I'm a botanist. My name is Joe, and... Oh, fuck, you have Leaf Blade! Oh, almost died to the crit there. That would have probably... Oh, that wasn't enough? Oh, no. Wait, what? It withdrew. What is this, AI? Okay, um... I definitely don't have anything for dragons. Do I have anything that hits neutral? Oh, this is so bad. I think I try to poison it. I think that's the play here. If it's going to resist, like, all of my... Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm going to try to poison you instead. Then. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm so effed. Oh, I'm so at Level 15 Heracross. I'm so brutally effed. Well, he, he, does he not have a fighting move? Because he could absolutely annihilate... Almost start in one hit if you wanted to, I assume. But yeah, even if I got through the Heracross, like I got nothing for the Shellgon, really. This Heracross is probably bulky as hell with the attack. Do I sand attack and just hope? God damn. Yeah, a team of level nines is not going to be the answer here that I'm looking for. I'm just going to come out and say it. This is going to be our first wipe. First wipe, gang. You love to see it. Last ditch sand attack. Holy crap. Also, the tracker is going to say uh, something to the effect of run over every single time because the tracker was designed with Iron Mon in mind. I just use it for my standard playthroughs as well. Uh, that is wipe number one, gang. I'm going to try this one more time without grinding or candying. I want to... I'm curious about... The AI switching. This time the crocodile was faster. Relief blade. Will it switch right now? Yeah, he's gonna switch right now. Interesting. But then when I switched out before, he immediately switched as well. So what happens if I go stun sport? Why did you not do that last time? Well, okay, so we've got the burn on you, and that's... That Brienne's done, so I'll get in this last little Mega Drain before... Uh, Mega Drain actually allowed me to survive that. Well, one last Leaf Blade to get some chip damage. Or a free switch into Star-Lord, apparently. Um, okay. This is interesting. So... Well, that begs the question, does the AI choose its move before or after I switch? Because or it's there's no if it had Fire Fang, there was literally no reason for it to switch the first time unless it knew that Blossom was getting switched out. That's really bizarre. That's the switch out that I'm confused by. So obviously none of my moves do too much to it. Let's see, Water Gun's gonna do 30 power, being resisted. I'm gonna see if we can get some flinches. I'm gonna throw some flinch chances in with the para chance and see if we can whittle down the Shellgon. I don't know if this guy has potions. I really hope that he doesn't. Okay, the para flinch combination is working beautifully. He is not using potions. All right, at least we got the Shellgon down. That para was so huge. Not missing that para was absolutely clutch. All right, back out comes the Croconaw. Well, obviously, there's no point in switching back out to Blossom. It'll die to a water gun when it comes out because it was at like 2 HP. So we're, we're not faster. I didn't expect to be. Two bites takes us out. So we're down to just the um, Heracross. 
which is the juggernaut. And this is the juggernaut, bitch. But Star Lord's level 12. Okay. We've got our entire team except for Brienne. Assume Brienne is just dead as soon as she steps foot onto the battlefield. So, what can I do from this position? I guess it depends on if if Coffin gets one shot. Because again, the poison's really all I got to work with here. I meant to go for Water Gun. I picked, I picked the wrong move. God dang it. All right. I'm assuming Kevin gets one shot here. Yeah, so what we need to do is level up Kevin enough to not get one shot for the purposes of landing a clutch poison. We can deal with the rest of the team. And then uh, Splippy, I mean, even if that wasn't super effective, Splippy has paper thin defense. So yeah, this is looking like Wipe number two. Now, although, actually it comes down to Doduo, right? Doduo probably does not survive a horn attack or a night slash, but if they did, aren't we quad effective? That's right, Doduo was dead going into this fight the first time, but we have to live a hit first. And of course, now we won't know if that crit mattered or not so i have to go back in with no information so that's a shame and then using night slash there gave me a chance to hit a sand attack but it's not really gonna matter yeah okay that's wipe number two so we have a quad effective move with peck but we're not able to hit it so we need to level up do duo enough to either outspeed or enough to survive a hit from night slash or horn attack all right old man attempt three all right i got at least one extra level on everybody i've trained these guys to be certified killers now with an extra level on you leaf blade all oh, kills with the crit good stuff so who does he send in next he's gonna go right for the heracross all right this is my chance here to land a stun spore. Okay, this is my best chance yet. This is my best chance yet. Brienne isn't super helpful. Was Were we f faster than Shelgon? I don't remember. So let me switch into uh, someone who can lower your accuracy just in case we get to get an attack off. Okay, well, you know what? That's fine. We're gonna go right into Danielle here. We're guaranteed faster than you. Oh, and we get the crit on the pack. So easy. Just like we rehearsed. Level for Brienne. Almost a level for Danielle. Good, good stuff. Okay, so you've got a scary couple of moves there with Headbutt, with the Flint Chance, and Fire Fang. So, I'd like to paralyze you. What are you going to hit me with, I wonder? I mean, either way, maybe lowering your attack would be good here. And you don't resist my moves either. We actually deal decent damage to you without lowering your stats. Now that your attack's lowered, I'm less worried about Danielle here. All right, we got you down about 60% of the way. You resist this, but getting the stun spore off on you as well should basically secure the fight. Leaf Blade won't kill, but another one might. Ah, oh, we're dead. Okay. So who wants to be the hero of this story? Kevin? Kevin would like to be the hero, please and thank you. All right. It's going to take a couple of tackles at least. Let's go, Kevin. Let's go, Kevin, get all the glory. All right, three tries. See, all we needed was another level and a couple of, you know, insanely lucky crits, and we got it. Super easy. Never a doubt in my mind. We're on to the gym that will definitely win. Here, take this illegal TM. Because yeah, in Iron Man, you can only teach TMs that are from gym leaders. All other TMs are illegal. Good luck with the first gym. 
Thanks. Appreciate it. There's no escape rope, so I'll just run back down. All right, let's head into the gym where, need I remind you, the leader's ace is level 20 in this challenge. And I've got two level 10s on my team. This is fantastic. I can't believe how ridiculously high this is. But from up here, you can tell what it feels like to be a bird Pokemon. No, you can't, because we're not actually flying. Let me see if you're good enough to face Faulkner. All right, let's see what the type is for this gym. Rich boy crystal. So many rich people here. It is a dark type gym. A dark type gym. Well, sorry, Espeon. I'm not going to get much out of you for this fight. Using dig. Okay. For that, I can switch into Danielle. It's a free switch. We've lowered their accuracy once. Let's see what Quick Attack does here. A crit did about a third. Ugh, brutal. We're gonna have to rely on some misses here. Oh, two, Danielle is a crit machine. Three in a row, dating back to last battle. All right. Well, we resist Bite on Makuhita, so we might live one of those, but if he goes for Dig, this will be annoying. Okay, this should kill. This should absolutely kill. Let's go, Manny. You really needed levels, so way to go, buddy. Good stuff. All right, that's the first one cleared. I apologize, the music seems all messed up. It might be because of the patch, but that's okay. That's okay, it's just the overworld music. We got Sableye. I was like, oh, let me put Manny in front, so I'm always super effective. There are two dark types that are also ghosts in this game. Obviously, none of my team has anything super effective against Sableye. This is not Gen 6 or later. So I'm just going to Leaf Blade and hope for the best. Pretty dang good damage. But because of Torment, we can't use that twice in a row. Can Mega Drain kill from here? You root and toot and bet it can. Good stuff. Better go Brienne. And another Mighty Anna. This one, a little bit weaker. Oh, let's try to camp Mega Drain again, but Leaf Blade got weakened by the Intimidate. I'm going to stun Spore you. Hidden Power. Not sure what type that was. It's neutral to Grass. Now we Mega Drain. Yeah, more Mighty Ennis, please. They don't seem to be too bothersome, to be honest. Oh, that's right. The Torment. All right, Leaf Blade. Keep forgetting about Torment. You had Fire Fang the whole time? Why didn't you use it, you throwing prick? You weird, weird man. Oh, well, now I'm going to lose because I'm missing from the sand attacks. Or not. Or not. Oh, Blossom OP. Good stuff. Rich boy Jimmy got got. We're already on to Faulkner. All right, Focky boy. I'm Faulkner, the Violet City Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. Who says that? Republicans? I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Has Tucker Carlson moved on from sexy M&Ms to birds don't deserve rights because they have wings? All right, Murkrow. All right, you're neutral, and you're almost certainly going to use Gust or Peck here. So if I know you're using a flying move, I don't really have anything super effective for you right now. I don't have any ice or electric or anything. So I kind of just have to try and brute force you. I'm going to go into Star-Lord here anticipating a flying move. Yep, there. Oh, wing attack, even stronger. Wow. All right, here's where we start water gunning. Whatever your hidden power was, it was super effective, but pretty sure Star-Lord's weak to a lot of types. So it doesn't really tell me enough. All right, that's one down. Brienne's in trouble here. Uh, why does the flying type gym leader have to have a flying type in this flying type gym? That's a bunch of baloney. I'll bring out my flying type. Quick attack. We outspeed, but we're still going to need two more hits. And we're confused as frick, yo. And we got a level 20 coming out after this. 
So we need our team to not be completely in shambles by the time we take down Murkrow. Uh, was there no target? Oh, boo-hoo. All right. Murkrow outspeeds Espeon. That means Murkrow outspeeds my entire team. Not a single team member of mine is faster than Espeon. Oh, woof. Okay, yeah, this is looking like just a little bit of a wipe. But that's okay. Everything is a learning experience. All right, so, and of course, we're not getting any of the confusion rolls either. God, wing it, stab, wing attack. That's almost 100 power right there. Oh, that's absolutely brutal. So wing attack kills me here. Yeah, maybe if I reduce its accuracy or something. But Murkrow is an absolute monster. I shudder to think of what happens if Honchcrow is level 20 or something. Sunsport? Oh, uh, you're wasting time going for Confuse, right? You're giving me a chance. Okay. We got that, so I'm going to outspeed now. I don't really have anything good for this. I just have to hope that I have enough raw power here. And that I don't hurt myself in Confusion. Wow, tanky. Okay. All right, cool. We're at least going to get to see what comes out next. Good lord. That was that was savage. That Murkrow was a beast. Shift tree. Okay, cool. You resist me as well. All right, that's going to be it for me. But at least at least it's not a flying type in the back of his party. Thank fudge. Okay, that's wipe number three. Okay, here's what we're going to do. The way I'm going to go about this is I'm not going to grind or candy up unless absolutely necessary. So I noticed that Bellossom was able to tank one non-critical wing attack. So if I lead with Bellossom and I hit a stun spore right away, I might be able to handle the Murkrow a lot easier. So maybe we don't have to grind at all. It did go for wing attack. That's actually good. I don't have to deal with the confusion BS. We got it. Okay, so now what is the best thing for me to do here? I want to switch Blossom out because I want to try and stun spore the shift tree as well. Just in case we're faster. We do have a positive speed nature. So our speed's more like 26, 27 right now. So who do we want to switch in? I'm going to switch in Splippy. I hate to say this, but until Splippy gets confusion, which wouldn't even be good here, it's a little more expendable. So now I'm going to start lowering Murkrow's accuracy a little bit. It has Astonish. Okay, good. We're learning its moveset. In fact, we know its moveset. Uh, so Astonish, Confuse Ray, Hidden Power, Wing Attack, with the Hidden Power being super effective either against Rock or Water. Or both. It could be Grass, for all I know. So now you're paralyzed and your accuracy is reduced. So I'm going to... I want to save Danielle for Shift Tree. That's super effective. So let's try and use everybody except for Danielle. So arm thrust. That's not terrible. I just need it to hit more than two times. Para didn't work. And the accuracy lowering didn't work because why would it? Okay. Now we're sending in Kevin. Let's send in a smoke screen. Now you're minus two accuracy. Still hitting all your moves because why not? Let's get you to minus three. All I need to kill the shift tree is, is Doduo, I think. The couple of pecs. All right, we're confused, but you're minus four accuracy, I want to say. So I am going to try to chip some tackle damage in there. Never mind. Or I'll just always hurt myself confusion and never, ever break through because God damn. This game is brutal, man. This game is absolutely brutal. Okay, so now we're not going to hit Bite by accident. We are going to hit Water Gun, which actually did a kind of a lot of damage here. All right. Gym leaders usually have potions. I'm expecting one here. No, maybe he's saving it for the ace. All of the train, all of the gym leaders should have like two potions. As far as I'm aware. Okay, we're quad weak to any grass moves this thing might have. But there's no point in switching out here. I'm just going to take my lumps. 
and man are they lumping I got lumped something fierce up the head with your nuts okay send in Blossom first to try and get the stun spore off do we live the faint attack from this health we do not I think the level difference is gonna kill us here If you outsped Belossum, you definitely outspeed Joduo. And you just one shot. Okay. So even when we had a strat for the Murkrow, that was still really tough to take down. So it looks like the most damage I can deal to the Murkrow is with Omastar. So I think after getting the para with Belossum, we go right into Omastar. Because. I kept Blossom alive thinking that I could paralyze Shift Tree, but we didn't actually, at the health, if Blossom takes a hit at all, we don't survive Faint Attack. So what needs to happen is, if I get hit by Wing Attack in the, in the opener, instead of a Confuse Ray, then I need to just sack Blossom and we can bring Omastar right out because Water Gun appears to be about a three shot. Not leveling yet. You can't convince me to level yet. Man Esteban has to pay. So what we want here is a Confused Ray that I break through. Okay, that's half the battle. Let's go. All right, now it's worth switching because Belossum could theoretically tank a full health uh, faint attack. All right, that worked out great. So now I'm still gonna sack Splippy here. Splippy has no value in this fight, except maybe getting the accuracy lowered. I don't need to tail whip because I'm going for water gun here. Water gun is the play. We did get a sand attack in. Now Star Lord, we know is about a three shot, and we're faster because of the para. Okay. That's right, Hidden Power is super effective. But we're able to get at least two Water Guns off here. Full Para? We, we're not getting the Para Luck at all. We're 0 for 3 with the Para Luck in this one. That's what we get for getting lucky with the Confuse, I guess. So, oh, what do I do here? Is Danielle enough damage right now? I'm not so sure. But I mean, Kevin's not gonna do it, so it's gotta be Danielle. We're obviously gonna hit first. It's just a matter of, does it matter? Oh, we finally got the para. Finally got the para proc. There we go. Way to go, everybody. And a level up, that can only help. Out comes the shift tree. So here's the problem. Here's the problem, doctor. I am going to sack Kevin here. I want to bring Danielle back out, but I want Shifter to be paralyzed. Kevin actually lived. There's no fucking way that I... Yeah, I was never going to be faster. But Kevin could probably tank one attack if it's not just a switch in. All right, so we need to live faint attack here and the stun spore to work. Went for mud sport. I don't have any electric moves. You're throwing. You're absolutely throwing. Okay. Now, I'm just going to chop away to chip your health down. Let's see how much Frantic Attack did. 27. So, yeah. Yeah, this this is perfect. We, we win, essentially. I'm going to get you just low enough that Doduo absolutely kills. So, I'm even going to bring in Manny first for a super effective arm thrust. I get the feeling that if I let this guy into the red... He will heal. So, I'm not going to let that happen. Oh, he's just... He's just... He, he's aware of his fate and is begging me to deliver the finishing blow. Oh, it does so little. Your defense must be so high. Oh, crud. Okay. So, what we would need here is a high roll on arm thrust. I'd say at least four hits. We gotta go for it. We missed? What? Wait, I didn't get my accuracy lowered, right? 
Okay, Shifter has Bright Powder. Um, That has to be it, right? That has Bright Powder. Come on. At least three. Manny! My man! With the dub! Ain't no Bright Powder. Ain't gonna let a little thing like blindness get in the way of my grand success. Way to go, Manny! Wants to learn Fake Out? I would love to learn Fake Out. I would love to. I'm really glad I didn't teach over arm thrust. I almost got rid of arm thrust instead of tackle before. Yeah, give me fake out for some early chip damage and fights. Whoo! Okay, three tries for Faulkner. For pity's sake, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon. But a defeat is a defeat. All right. Take this official Pokemon League badge. This one is the Zephyr badge. And then I think he gives us Roost, which I assume Doduo can learn. With that badge, Pokemon, including traded Pokemon up to level 20, will obey you without question. It also enables you to use the hidden move Rock Smash anytime outside of battle. Yeah, it used to be Mud Slap, now it's Roost. By using a TM, a Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you act, a TM can be used only once. TM51 contains Roost that restores half the maximum HP. Their Pokemon gyms in cities and towns ahead make good use of them. As for your next move, I would suggest Azalea Town. And I'm not just saying that because it's the only one you have access to. All right. Hell yeah. All right. So it took three tries to do the Elder. It took three tries to take down Faulkner. But we managed. We managed. This I, I'm having a great time with my silly little low-level team. I got to deal with Professor Elm's egg. Why would I care? Why I'm I can't use that Togepi. I will use it to help provide breakfast for my other Pokemon that I'm actually using. Sorry, Togepi's not a part of my destiny. Whew, one down, 16 to go. That's right. This James got 16 themed gyms. The Elite Four and Red at the end. So I picked one with an awful lot of boss fights. And we're going to do it all, baby. We're going to do it all. Round one, huge success.